Hi everyone. <clears throat> Let's start the class now. It's nine five already. Uh, good evening, everyone who messaged in the in chat as well. Okay, so let's get started. I'll start sharing my screen. X second then Amuja. Where is the share screen? Yeah. So I hope you guys can see my screen now. Where's the chat? Okay. Yeah, so as usual, I have the PDF open. So yesterday, the last thing we discussed about was about Booleans, if you guys remember, just a simple true or a false value. And then we also spoke about how we can assign Booleans to any variables. And also remember, <clears throat> I spoke about the variable naming for Booleans, right? So give very clear names for variables. So it's clear from the name itself, what kind of values they hold, right? So it becomes clear uh, just by reading the variable name. And then we also spoke about um, variables can change type. So again, this is not very common in other programming languages. Like for example, in Java or C or C++, once you define an integer variable using int or something, you can't change that variable into a string, right? Or a Boolean, that's not possible at all. But in JavaScript and in Python, that's totally possible. Which means once you create a variable here with certain type, you can change that type to anything else like a Boolean and then change it back to this one. You can add again a string or whatever you want. Okay. And then yesterday we started talking about the strings also nothing but the pieces of text that we can use within our code. And examples are like this. Uh, we can create a first name variable and we can basically use um, double quotes like this, okay? We can either use double quotes like this, and in this case also we can use double quotes, but we can also use single quotes also. Okay, remember that in JavaScript, it lets you create a string using either a double quote or a single quote. But just make sure that you're being consistent with it. Uh, by that, I mean that if you start with a single quote, you have to end it with a single quote. If you start with a double quote, you have to end in the double quote for sure. Okay, so just remember that, that you're consistent overall with whatever quotes you use. Now there is, uh, honestly, with respect to the standards or conventions, right? I wouldn't say that there are any, uh, um, there's any like standard or convention with respect to what you should use. There is no convention as, to, uh, as such that one is better than the other. It's totally up to you what you want to end up using. So it's, I'll really leave it to you <clears throat> what you want to choose. But what I recommend is also be consistent with respect to what code you use throughout your project. Like for example, see, <clears throat> uh, the first consistency you need is within the string itself, which means that if you start the double code, you have to end with double quote as well. So that consistency is anyway required. That is a rule. But what I'm trying to say is within one file, if you're creating like five string variables, for example, uh, make sure to use the same kind of quotes for all the five strings. What I mean by that is first of all, let me open up um, a Chrome console again. <clears throat> like this. So here within a console, Again, uh, we don't need that. So I'll just go full screen. The one I'm trying to say is if you create a variable here, like cons first name is Warren and cons last name is Shukla. So I would recommend that if you're creating, I mean, if you're using single quotes, use single quotes everywhere. Again, this is not a rule. It's just a good practice to follow. Okay, uh, so I make sure that if I'm using double quotes, I use double quotes everywhere within the project or within the file. It just looks better that way. And it, so overall, it just uh, looks way more consistent. But again, the consistent that you should keep in mind is with respect to the same string. Like for example, if I have um, like <clears throat> any text, for example, make sure that if you start the double quote, you have to end with double quote as well. This is important, okay? End and start with same quotes. Okay, so just remember this part. Let's move on for now. Okay. Right, so the next important thing is when you have a string, right? <clears throat> Let's say that you create a string here with the name of um, favorite animal or something. We'll call it chicken like this. 
Okay. Guys, one more one more important thing here is the casing is important. This is one string, right? So this is not the same as another fave animal as this. Okay, these both are obviously not the same because, like you know, they are both the two different strings altogether. Okay. So the value itself is not the same. I mean, the word is the same. Both of them are chicken only, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> One is in capitals. There's all in small letters. So make sure of that. Okay. <clears throat> Coming back to this, I was saying that when you have a <clears throat> like this, right? So the string within JavaScript it is indexed, which means JavaScript gives index numbers for every single character within the string, and it looks something like this. Okay. Uh, it always starts off with zeroth character. Zeroth index. Okay, the first letter is zeroth index, and then first index, and second, and so on. Okay, which means this uh, this string right here, it has a total of seven letters. Okay, but it begins with zero because within JavaScript programming languages, your strings indexing always begins with zero. It doesn't begin with one. It begins with zero. Very important to understand. Okay, so just make sure of that. When you have a string like this, they're always indexed, which means the characters within the string, each one of them, it has, uh, it has a number associated with it. <clears> okay, <throat> so this is what <clears throat> I mean by indexing. Okay, one more example is, let's create a string here, like, on. A uh, game is equal to uncharted, for example. Okay. Now again, this this string here, what JavaScript will do is it will basically index every single character. Which means this is index zero, index one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and eight. Okay. So behind the scenes. JavaScript will index all the numbers like I mean uh, every character like this, and this happens for every single string. Not just this string; it happens for every single string that you create within JavaScript. It's always indexed, which also means that you can actually get any character based on that index. Okay, what I mean by that is, <clears throat> let's create a yeah. So now if I want to get the first character, which is the character at the index of zero, all I can do is just use this game variable and give it a couple of square brackets like this. Now, within the square bracket, you can give it any index number that you want. I want the index of zero. I get u, which is again remember that the string starts with the zeroth index, which is the first letter right here. Now, if I do a game of one, I get n because this is the uh, index one. Okay, remember it always starts with zero. So overall, here we have nine letters within this word. We have nine characters within the string. It starts off at zero. That's why it ends at eight. But the total length of the string is nine. Now there is a way we can check the length of the string as well, and that is by using the length property. Okay, so we'll use game, and then you say dot length. Dot length gives you the length of the string that is stored inside this variable right here. Now this, what is this dot thing? We'll learn much later on when we start talking about objects. But for now, just remember it like this: like if you want to access the length of uh, length of this string here, you can use dot length on top of this variable. Okay, you don't have to use dot length on a variable. You can even use it within an actual string directly, like this. If you say uncharted dot length. Okay, this also. Gives you back the length of the string. 
again dot is basically used to access some property on top of this uh, this string and the property which we want to access is this property called as length okay let me repeat that one last time dot is used to access any property which exists on the string and the property we want to access right now is a length property so the length property always returns to you the number of characters that are there within a particular string so you can either use the string directly like this to get the length or you can store this within uh, within a variable like this and then use dot length on top of it okay. as remember if you want to get the length of anything just use dot length dot length can be used on top of a variable which contains a string or on a string directly like this okay guys any questions so far okay i hope you following please don't hesitate to ask any questions okay you need to understand the basics really really well before we proceed to more a more advanced stuff okay so don't hesitate to ask any questions okay now next thing is i'll give you more examples of this i can say like you can do a hello what length this gives back five because i have 1 2 3 4 5 characters so but within this guys within this what is the first index it's always zero right so within any string the first index is always zero because every string begins with the index of zero remember that okay what is the last index of this it is 4 so it's simple to remember whatever the length is length minus 1 karenge to we'll get the last index right i think you know all these things already because you've done uh, dsa right in java so there's nothing new i'm sure you guys are learning here but still it's good to like um <clears throat> uh, goes in the basics again okay the next thing is what if i create a string like this which has a lot of spaces okay guys first of all is this a valid string yes it is because like i mentioned yesterday every single character here okay this is a space character okay this is one space here one more space here one more space here one more here one here and one here basically we have we have space as a character as well which means this is a totally valid javascript string okay now i can do a dot length on top of this also and this gives me like a length of 6 because we have see i'll tell you we have like one wait i'll do like this okay right? 1 2 okay it's not happening 2 3 okay, it's not happening that easily but i think you get the <clears throat> you get the idea here we have totally like six space characters here within this string okay so space is also a character and we can now use indexes also let's say that i have a string called as a uh, const my song is i like the <clears throat> i like the song sacrifice a lot so now if i want to access the first letter or the first index ka character i can use my song of 0 okay i can either do this or i can use the string itself directly like this and i can say of 0 like this okay both of them are possible both of them do the same exact thing if i want the last uh, if i want the last character guys within this if i want the last character right now what should i do if i want to get the character the last index ha so we don't have a minus 1 within javascript like this we can't use that abhishek is correct we can just use length minus 1 ठीक है रिमेंबर विथ इन एनी स्ट्रिंग हाउ डू वी फाइंड आउट द लास्ट इंडेक्स ऑफ एनी स्ट्रिंग इफ यू लुक एट दिस थिंग हियर दिस अनचार्टेड का जो वर्ड है जो स्ट्रिंग है वॉट इज द लास्ट इंडेक्स हियर लास्ट इंडेक्स इज वॉट 
it's eight, right? Last index is eight here. Now, what is the length of this string? It's nine. If you look at this thing, it's very simple, right? So to get the last index, you have to just subtract one from the length. Because remember, you're starting from zero here. Okay. Last index is always length minus one, as simple as this. You'll be using this a lot. Okay. The way we get the last index now is I song of I song dot length minus one. You can actually do this thing within your brackets here. Okay. Within your brackets here, you can do something like this. You don't have to enter only the number. See, this is obviously <clears throat> this will obviously work. If you do a seven or something, this will obviously work. Okay. We can directly give a number here. But within double brackets here, we can also give it um, an expression like this, which, re which returns a value. Because remember, this ultimately returns some number only, right? So as long as you enter anything within the square brackets, which returns a number, we can add that within square brackets here. Okay. One more way is, I can say that uh, cons last index will be my song dot length minus one. Okay. This is the last index. Now I can use this variable to access that last index within my song variable. I'll do my song of last index. That's it. So basically you're just doing, uh, you first of all, get in the last index by doing a simple calculation like this, like get the length of the variable itself and subtract one, you get the last index. So last index is what? Last index is whatever, like one, uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the number itself. Na? So this is the eight number basically, which means I'm basically doing my song of eight here. Okay. <clears throat> the important point here to remember is that within the square bracket notation here, okay, we call it a square bracket notation. We call it square bracket notation. Okay. This thing like this. Within your square bracket notation here, you can actually enter anything which returns a number to you. That anything can be a direct number like this, or it can be an, an operation like this, which also ret uh, <clears throat> returns a number. And it can also be a variable which returns a number for you. Okay. So you have multiple ways to access a certain character within a string. Okay. This is the first most common way where you give the number directly and that returns the character of that index. Second way is you give it a simple operation like this, which again returns a number for you. Okay. And this also returns a number because last index is a variable which contains a number. So as long as you give it anything which returns a number within the square bracket notation, that will always work. Okay. <clears throat> now, what if I try to access an index which does not exist within the array? For example, uh, I mean, which doesn't exist within the string, sorry. Right now, we have uh, nine characters here, right? We have nine characters here. Last index is eight. Okay. But if I try to access something which does not exist like this, like if I had to access like 120 or something, Okay. Normally in other programming languages, you would get an error. Okay. But JavaScript doesn't, uh, doesn't throw any error for us. It actually returns to you a primitive value called as undefined. Now undefined is returned to you whenever you're trying to access any, uh, any value, which does not exist within mm -hmm. that string. Okay. So clearly within a string, there are no 120 characters to hey nahi na. We have only nine characters within a string here. Now I am trying to access something which does not exist within the string. When you do that in a programming language like JavaScript, it does not throw any error. It simply returns undefined. 
अनडिफाइंड इज बेसिकली अ प्रिमेटिव वैल्यू अगेन ठीक है रिमेंबर वी हैव नंबर्स एंड स्ट्रिंग्स एंड बुलियंस एज प्रिमेटिव वैल्यूज we have one more value is called undefined now we'll get to this a little bit later in depth abigail just remember that whenever you try to access any value which is out of bounds theek hai iske boundary se bahar hai this 120 number it's 120 is out of bounds with respect to this string here and when you have a string i mean you have a number like that when you have an when you have an index like that which is not part of the string it simply returns undefined for you okay <clears throat> all right uh, so any questions so far awesome that's gone one thing here is uh see using this index thing here and like using it like this or using it like this you cannot change the character at that index what i mean by that is you can't do my song of let's say my song of 2 b this is not possible okay because after this line executes If I check what my my song is, it's still no D within the string. Okay, again this will not throw any error, but this won't work because JavaScript will not let you edit a string like that. Okay, when you have a string, you cannot modify that string. You cannot change the characters within that string. Remember that. Okay, there are other ways to solve that. but by default you cannot change the string itself like abhishek is saying uh, the strings are considered as immutable properties now what is that i'll teach a little later again because uh, this is too early to talk about that i don't want to throw you off right now so yeah let's remember that you cannot modify the contents of a string like this this is not possible okay cool so let's move to the next slide now okay now we have something called as string methods now methods are basically actions that you can perform on top of a string okay let's say you have a string and you want to perform some action the action can be either like searching within a string you want to search uh you want to search for a particular thing within a string or you want to replace anything within a string or you want to change uh, uh, like lower case to upper case upper case lower case so you have a lot of actions that you want to perform on a string you can do all of that with the help of methods okay methods are nothing but they are actions that you can perform on a string what kind of actions like i said you can search within a string we can replace anything within a string or you can transform a string into upper case or lower case now this obviously we have done using uh, using css okay but we can do it within javascript also okay the difference is within css kya hota hai ki um if you have in text within your html if you do it upper case or lower case within css you do not actually know ki wo jo original content hai wo lower case mein tha ya upper case mein hi tha pehle se that we don't know for sure right but within javascript imagine that you have a text box okay and you are typing something there when you click on submit at that time you want to convert that text into upper case okay so उस तरह का डायनेमिक बिहेवियर के लिए वी कैन यूज जावा स्क्रिप्ट योर ठीक है दैट इज द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन जावा स्क्रिप्ट एंड सी एस एस इन दिस केस ओके सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ जावा स्क्रिप्ट यू कैन टर्न एंड यू कैन मेक मेक एनीथिंग डायनेमिक एंड इंटरक्टिव ओके यू कैन गिव इट लाइफ टू द पेज बेसिकली बट सी एस एस 
doesn't make anything dynamic. It's only used for styling purposes. Abhishek, yes, I'll talk about that also. Okay, now let's talk about what a method basically is. Okay, and the way you work with a method. Now we've already seen this dot before, right? We have seen this dot before with a length property. Like this uncharted dot length. Okay. This length, this dot here, when you when you give a simple property like this, this is what you call as a property. But you also have methods on top of your string, and the method will always end with your parentheses like this. Okay. So whenever you add any brackets. It means that is a method. Okay. Now, when we start talking about functions in detail, I'll explain what what it actually is. But abhi kiri, you can just remember it like uh, on top of a string, use a dot and give it any method you want, and the method should always end up with uh, the brackets here or parentheses here. Okay. Let's look at the first example. Which is what if you want to change something into uppercase? So let's say that I have a message like this: "You are, you are so dead, Mister." Okay. I have a string like this. I can convert this into uppercase by doing message dot to uppercase. Or this is message to upper case like this. Remember that you have you always have to follow it up with this parenthesis like this because if you do not give it a parenthesis, this is not a method. This is a method only if you give it uh, brackets like this. Okay, because this this part here means that this entire thing is a method. If you do not give it like this now. It means it's a length and it's not even work. Okay, I mean it won't throw any error, but it won't work. Okay, but if you do it like this, this is when you're calling this action on the message variable. When I hit enter now, see, it returns to you the uppercase version of this string. Okay, and just notice how we have. Uh, Everything in camel case here. So JavaScript itself, it follows the camel case convention to name all the methods, and hence it's better if we also stick to camel casing only. Okay, but one important thing here is when you call the to uppercase method on top of this message variable, it returns to the transformed array. But if you check the original message variable. Nothing changes because it simply returns the value, but it doesn't modify the already existing variable. Okay, what uppercase does is it simply transforms this uh, the string, but it does not modify the string itself. Okay, let's go transform करके it returns to the string, but return करने के बाद it doesn't modify the existing string itself. Okay. But if I want to, uh, if I want to change this variable to be like this, what should I be doing, guys? What should? Ha. Huh, so Himanshu is correct. So I should just do message is equal to message dot to uppercase. So what this means is this line here, like this part right here. Will convert the string into upper string. It will return it to this variable, which means whatever the returned answer is, that is stored back inside the original variable. And this time, if you check what the message variable is, it will be transformed correctly. Okay, so remember that whenever you have to update the original variable here, you always have to return it like this because this specific method, this method will never Will never modify the original. Okay, this is the original string, 
and this method uh, doesn't modify this original string it simply returns to you a transform string and it's your responsibility to store that returned value back inside this variable and only then this will change okay one important thing is basically in this brackets here like i said this brackets are mandatory don't uh, don't forget to give that okay it will not throw any error if you don't give it but it won't it won't work the way you define it all right so the next part okay the next method we have apart from uh, upper case is lower case as well let's say i have some text data string which has everything in capitals data 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 like this okay if i want to convert everything into lower case text data dot to lower case just like how we have to upper case we have to lower case as well and this method will simply transform the entire array to become lower case when i hit enter it will transform and return that value and just like upper case it will not modify the original uh, it won't modify the original string wo hamesha aisa rahega okay nothing changes here that was about two lower case and two upper case Okay. Uh, so again, before I proceed, any questions? Okay. Next method we have is the trim method. Okay. What the trim method does is, let's say that we have a variable like this. Uh, let dating is equal to, and within my string here, I'll add some. I'll add some space at the Uh, at the beginning and at the end, like this. Okay, so I'll add some space like this. Good morning, y'all. I forgot the spelling. Is it like this? I think I forgot. Okay, yeah. So this is the string that we have. And this string basically has some space at the beginning and at the ending as well. Okay. which means we have like a leading space and a trailing space okay we call this part as a leading part and this is the trailing part so we have a space at the trailing part and at the leading part as well if you want to remove all the spaces at the beginning and at the end but not in the middle okay you don't want to remove the space in between the string but you want to remove the space around the string which means you uh, if you want to remove the space in the beginning of the string and at the end of the string you can use a method called as a trim method when i hit enter so it basically removed all the string i mean uh, so all the space uh the leading space and the trailing space is removed but the space between the string will still remain okay so the trim method will not remove the space between the string here it only removes the space in the leading and the trailing uh, trailing parts but again just like upper case and lower case this method it simply remove uh, it simply transforms it and returns the value but it does not modify the existing uh, existing string which means if i check my greeting variable right now nothing changes it still has the spaces which means if i want to modify the existing uh, existing variable as well i simply do this i do a greeting is equal to greeting dot trim like this <clears throat> observe one more thing guys see i'm i'm using the semicolon uh, like at certain places i'm not using at certain places and this proves to you that semicolon is not exactly mandatory but it's a good recommended practice to use it okay one more example is if i have a const color is equal to purple like this 
I do a color dot trim. It returns to me a new. I mean, it returns to me a string, which doesn't have any spaces. But this does. But the trim method will not modify this color array. It simply returns like a transform string like this. But if you want to store the result back inside this variable, you can do color is equal to color dot trim. Yeah. Now why is this not working? Yeah, because it's a const variable, and when you have a const variable, reassignment is not possible. Okay, and hence what I should do now, I should like create a color variable like this. Uh, that color is equal to purple, like this. Okay, all the integer, so I'll just do a hard reset. Okay, I'll do a let color is equal to purple, like this. Now I'll do a color dot trim, and I store that back in the color variable. Now it'll work if I check what the color is. It has been transformed now. <clears throat> okay. Now one more cool thing about our string methods is you can chain them together. Okay. This process is actually called as method chaining. What method chaining basically means is uh, you can chain the methods one after the other. Okay, let's see what that means. Now, if I have again, if I have um, a hero like uh, say Deadpool, okay, it has some spaces like this. First of all, I want to convert this hero into. Uh, I mean, I want to remove the spaces first, so I'll just do or trim, and then without stopping, I'll use another method, which is the to uppercase method, and this will simply convert the entire string into this result. Okay, now this is what we call as method chaining. It basically means that. You can keep chaining multiple string methods one after the other on this variable. Okay, so what happens in this case? First of all, we do this part first. हम सिर्फ यही करेंगे. Now, the result of hero dot trim will basically be a variable which has no spaces. तो उसका result के ऊपर, then we perform this thing. Let me show you how that works again. Let's say that I have. Uh, so I. Uh, so the string is currently like this. That pool, like this. So this is the string, okay? Now when I'm doing, uh, let's say, I'll just copy this actually. One second. Now when I do a hero. Or trim and then to uppercase like this. What I mean by this is, first of all, I will be doing this part only because we start from the left here. Okay, we start from the variable here. We do this part first, and this will result in a string which looks like this. Okay. And on top of this, we add this part now, which is. Dot to uppercase. Now we complete this entire part, and this will result in this. Okay, this is how the entire process actually happens. And we first of all we start with the first method, and then we add the second method. Okay, we can obviously add more than one methods here. Okay, but yeah, so far we have learned only uh, these three methods. But once you learn more of them, you can keep chaining them one after the other. Okay, <clears throat> cool. Let's move on to the next slide. We're done with trim. Okay. So next is there are certain methods which also takes in some arguments. Now basically, what arguments do is. uh 
based on the arguments you send, we get back a different result every single time. Okay. Basically, the methods will accept the arguments and then change their behavior based on the arguments. And the arguments are always passed in within within the parentheses here. See, of the word, uh, I'm to explain very simply. Whatever arguments you pass, that will change the result that you ultimately get. Now, not all methods require arguments. We've already seen that. In our case, in our case, see, uh, dot trim jo hai, or to uppercase jo hai, or to lowercase jo hai, so all of these methods, they do not require any arguments at all. But there are some, uh, there are some methods which require the arguments for sure. Like without uh, the arguments, they're basically useless. Okay. So remember that there are certain methods which don't require uh, any arguments. And then there are certain methods which require, I mean, they must have, uh, must have arguments. Otherwise they are useless. Okay. It's like if you use an image tag within HTML, but if you don't give a source tag, it's basically useless. No. And same thing with the anchor tag as well. If you use the anchor tag within HTML, if you don't give href attribute, it's again useless. Okay, cool. So let's see uh, what methods we have under this kind of a method. And the first one we have is, is index off. Now let's say that we have uh, a string like this. We have a string called cat dog. And this is a string cat dog. Now if you index this again, This is zero. This is one. Sorry, one, one, two, one, two, three, four, and five. We have five. Uh, we have six elements in total. One second. Okay, we have six characters or six letters in total, but the last index is five, and this is how they're obviously indexed. Now, if I actually want to get the index of any character, see, say, pehle, if I wanted to get a character based on the index, okay, what would I do? I would say that I need a uh, cat dog. I want to get the character at the zeroth index. Okay, it will return letter C. And this returns letter, <coughs> letter A. And p and so on okay this is for what if you know the index but if you want to get the character but what if we want the opposite of this what if i know the character but i want to get the index of it okay which means there is a character within the string and i want to get the index of that character See, I want to get the index of that character. Now there is a method called as index of. Okay. Now uh, see one thing, guys. So uh, if I simply say add dog dot index of, and I want to get the index of a specific character. So does this make sense? It doesn't make sense as of now, right? Because I'm not telling this method ki mujhe kaun sa character ka index hai mujhe. So if this method does not know which character ka index I'm looking for, there's no point, right? And hence you have to always give it uh, an argument here. And the argument here would be the letter C, let's say. Okay. So when you say index of letter C, this method will give you back the index of this character. Okay. Let's see how that works. I'll say a const uh, animal is cat dog. If I do, okay, if I want to check what is the index of the letter C, I'll do index of letter C. It's telling me that the index of this character within the string is zero. Hello, index of letter A, it says one. Index of letter T, it says two. 
is 3 and so on. Very simple. But what if you try to access the index of something which does not exist within this uh, within this string? Okay. What do you guys think? Give me a practical guess. We have seen something, huh? So, see, you guys are absolutely uh, right with respect to what your approach is. I mean, if I was in your office, I would have definitely said undefined. But actually, this gives you back, let's say, if I use like z, it's like minus one. It doesn't make any sense, honestly, because I would have preferred that, you know, it gave him max undefined or something. Because if you remember, uh, if you tried to access, an index within a string which does not exist, it gives you back what? It gives you back undefined. But if you're trying to access a character, I mean, if you're trying to access the index of a character that doesn't exist, <clears throat> answer is minus one always. I think the reason is because, see, uh, index of jo hai, ultimately it returns uh, a number at the end, right? Maybe that's why they went with minus one. I'm not really sure, but honestly, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, but yeah, just remember that when you have index of, and if you give it any character which does not exist within that string, the value will be minus one and not undefined. Vipul and Muhammad, I'll answer that right now. Okay, okay, but let's huh, now. What if uh, I have a letter like this, John's name. Now, some people have an extra A in their name, which you never understand, by the way. So, like this, so Arati. Okay, so we have one small A here and second small A here. Now, remember, this capital A is different from small A, okay? So, if I do a name.index of letter A, Answer is zero. This is expected, right? But what if I do an index of small a like this? The answer will be whatever the first matches. Okay. Basically, index of kya karta hai na? So let's say that we have this letter R T like this. Let me expand this. Okay, now when I check for index of small a what happens is first of all it'll start from here so is this small a no is this small a yes and then it simply returns the index at this one it is one it just exits that that's it once it finds the answer it simply exits the uh, and exits the looping base it doesn't it doesn't go any further. That's how it behaves, okay? So if let's say that if you have a string like this, which is const uh, random is b, 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 b like this, okay? Now, if I do a random, not index of, guys, if I do an index of letter b, what will be the answer? Very good. The answer will be zero because like I said, as soon as it finds the first match, it simply returns that index. It exits. It doesn't go any further. And one last thing is if you do not give it any index value at all, I mean, if, if you do not pass it any argument, it simply returns minus one. Okay. And one last thing is what if you have a string of spaces also if you have like a const um, movie is man of steel now within the string here we have two space characters right <clears throat> we can do something like movie dot index of and i can give it a space here like this see i'm basically asking this index of what is the index of this one space character? If I hit enter, the answer is three because zero, one, two, and then three. So the first space character is three. 
Now guys, remember this thing because there's going to come up a quiz question where you have to use this uh, use this technique for something. Okay. You can use index of a space character as well because remember space is also a valid character. All right. Okay, cool. So guys, I'm going to give you guys an early break today. Let's take a break. It's uh, 956. I'll see you at 106. Okay.
okay everyone we'll continue the class okay so the last thing we learned uh, last method we learned was the index of method the next method we have is the slice method now slice is extremely important very 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 popular in fact we'll be using this a lot especially in react also okay so we'll uh, we'll learn what this actually does okay so let's say that we have a string like this uh, that pool again this is a string that we currently have now again this is indexed like this so we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so we have uh, totally we have eight eight characters and this is the indexing that we have currently okay now uh, if you want to only get a slice of something instead of taking the entire string if you want to get a slice of the string itself <clears throat> now you guys might be knowing what a slice is right for example if you have a pizza okay this is the entire pizza that we have like this but we can even order a slice of pizza no? i mean uh, so if you look at this thing so this is the entire pizza that we have but this is a pizza like a slice so slice is nothing but a smaller portion of the entire thing okay that portion can be however small or big you want okay which means if you want just this part okay just the first four characters if you want that slice of the string if you want we can use the slice method or maybe if you want just this part okay we can use um, uh, we can use slice method for that also or maybe if you want just like this part like a d p o itna chahiye humko we can use uh, this method for that also or maybe if you want just one character just this d character we can even use it for that also okay so it's very flexible or lastly we can even use it to create the entire thing also if you want like basically if you want to get back the entire string again we can use it for that also and one important thing here is dot slice will always return to you a new string okay obviously uh, it obviously makes sense na because if you want just this part okay it does not modify the original string it simply returns to you a new string that new string will contain just these four letters in them okay that's what the slice method is all about it gives you back a slice of the entire string just like how you can take a slice of pizza uh we can do a slice of the entire string like this so let's see how to work with it I have a hero it is that pool okay okay it's already been declared a minute now if i do a hero dot slice now see we have to uh, give it two things first thing is what is the starting what is the starting of this uh, i mean where do you want to start a slice from let's uh, wait first of all i gave it the wrong spelling so let me change it again spelling is in that pool like this okay you know if i want to if you want to get a slice of just this part i want to get just this part okay there's four characters here okay which means what is the beginning index it is 0 the hero dot slice of 0 okay next you give the ending index but the thing is the ending index is not inclusive in slice which means if you give an index of 3 na basically you're going up to 3 but not including 3 if i uh, if i hit enter this time see that we only get the first three characters because 3 is not inclusive but 0 is inclusive so if you actually want to get these four characters we have to go with 0 4 this will give us back these first four characters Okay. Now, what if I want to get the last four characters here? In that case, what can I do? What will be the first index? It will be four. Now, one important thing here is see, 
we can obviously do a four comma eight. Okay, it'll work fine. But when you simply want to go till the end of the string, then you don't have to give the second uh, second argument here. Just give the first argument. When you only give the first argument here, what this means is you're starting at four, including four, and you're going till the end of the array. That's what this means. This also works, but honestly, this is better now because this simply means that <clears throat> you're starting at the index four, including four. That's where we get zero, one, two, three, and four. We get this P letter here. But because we want to go till the very end, just don't give any second argument. It simply means that it goes till the very end. Okay. And similarly, if I want to create, uh, like, yaha se yaha, like, yaha se yaha, one second. Uh, where is that thing? Huh. Now we want to create like A se leke. Huh. So A se leke much L tak chahiye. So I want to get, huh. so what should it be? Very good. So I should, I should just use a two here. That's it. It'll simply go till the end of the string. Okay. Now what if I just want one character, which is this letter A. What do you think I should do? So yes, I can do two comma three. I'll save me uh, because if you remember when I use three, I'm saying up to three, but not including three, which means I'm basically saying two comma two. So I get back on letter A. All right, so the uh, so one last thing is if I don't give any arguments now, simply create a copy of the entire string. So starting cell aka ending tag, it creates a new copy of the string. Remember, see each of these things that we got back here, they're all new copies of this string. Okay, nowhere we modify the existing string. We do not modify the existing string using slice. We only get back a new copy of the string. Avinash, what exactly is your question? Are you asking if I want only D? Are you asking that? Uh, so I'm, uh, yeah, so both Himanshu and Yuvraj have mm -hmm. answered correctly. Should be zero comma one. Because when you're saying one, you're saying up to one, not including one. Okay. And one last thing you can even do uh, zero here. Okay. Basically see this and this, they're exactly the same. In both the cases, you're, uh, you're creating a copy of the entire array. But if I check the hero string now, nothing changes obviously, because the slice method will not modify the original string. It simply returns to you a new copy of this. Now, the reason I'm stressing on the word copy is because this comes very, very handy when it comes to React. Okay, because React, we don't actually modify the original uh, array or the string. We simply create a new copy. So, dot slice will be extremely important to uh, learn and understand. Okay. So yeah, so we use a dot slice to create a slice of the string. Okay, we can even we can either create the entire copy of the string, or we can simply get one letter or a few letters or four letters or whatever you want. Dot slice is very flexible like that. Okay. In this case, if you observe, guys. Uh, okay, <clears throat> okay. In this case, are the arguments mandatory? Good. So the arguments are not mandatory because if you observe here, no, I've, so I've used this method 
without passing any arguments and still it works it doesn't throw any error which means the default is basically zero till the end of the string okay so we can give arguments but even if you don't give the arguments it still works one nice example is uh, so imagine that you have um, like rupees 100.90 or something and if you want to remove this rupees and this part basically and you want to get back this the number itself okay so what should i do for that i want to remove this rupees and dot in the space character i want to return just this number that case what can i do tanzila see i want just this number ka slice i don't want the rupees and all of that so i want just this number how can i do it mohammed and imancho correct see we should if you look at this thing first of all if we add um, the indexes for this this is index 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 and this is 4 right so basically if you observe these are the indexes and i want to get this slice which means i start at 4 and i go till the end of the string so i simply do dot slice start at 4 and that's it this time no matter what um uh, what, what amount you have this this will always work no and keep changing the number this will always work 109 whatever like this okay guys it's important for you to uh, shall tell you some things abhi tak and is teaching multiple methods na but you have to not only remember how they work but you also remember when to use them because that is more important see i mean you can obviously um uh, mug up all these methods but if you don't understand when to use them correctly there's no point no like when i ask a question like this mujhe is string mein se i want just this part you should be able to understand ki which method to use and that you'll only get when you start like practicing uh, a lot theek hai to jyada practice karoge to you'll be able to understand uh, all of these things theek hai okay so the next next method we have is this thing called as replace and the name is self explanatory it used to replace a part of the string with something else that you want let's say that we have a string like this And the string says uh, SRK is the best. Okay. Now, if I want to replace this part with something else, I can replace it with the actual correct answer, which is HRX is the best. Okay. This is totally possible. Okay. Basically, you can replace any part of the string with something else within a string. Let's do that. I'll say ki uh, const uh, message is equal to SRK is the best, which is not true. I'll do message dot replace. Okay. You first of all tell which string you want to replace. Okay, this is a search value, so I want to replace the string called SRK. Replace this with HRX, like this. So when you hit uh, uh, when you hit enter, it gives you back the correct answer like this. Okay, so replace the very simple method. You give it which string you want to replace it, and what you want to replace it with. Okay, this is called as a search value, and this is a replace value. कौन से value का search करना है और किससे replace करना है बस very simple. 
<clears throat> we'll do one more thing for example uh let's do let's say h dot replace of replace is with was get srk was the best again true anyway i'm kidding like srk is really uh, amazing i watched his movie Pata patan and he was really good so but as i'm not trolling for sure himanchu like it is true that HRX is better than SRK. That that's obviously a fact, matter of fact. So, uh, okay, Madhu Sharma is getting really offended. I'm sorry, Madhu, but okay. I'm just kidding, guys. Like everybody has their own opinion. Obviously, I just like Ritik much more than Shahrukh. So, but I hugely respect Shahrukh also. I was really happy for Shahrukh's uh, uh, <clears throat> comeback movie, Patan. I was really hoping that movie would be. Uh, would be a hit, you know, because a lot of people were trolling him and a lot of people are saying that he's gone, he's out and all of that. A lot of people were saying that uh, like his movies won't work anymore, it's become old, boycott gang. Tha. But I was really happy that the movie came out really well. So I'm very happy for Shah Rukh. Just... And Javan bhi hit hoga, I'm sure. Javan is that movie about uh, this one, right? About what is that? Uh, Atlika movie, you know? Yeah, it's badly. Cool. I hope this movie also becomes a hit. Okay. <clears throat> Abhishek, I wouldn't look at their trolling. Um, they are not trolling. I think the movie was pretty good. It was pretty patriotic also. So, yeah. Let's leave it at like that. I mean, uh, don't look too much into movies as well. Ultimately, movies are for, uh, are for, uh, are for like, entertainment, right? Don't look too much into the meaning and all of that. Just go to the movie, enjoy and come back. Don't think much about it. Because it's supposed to be just an entertaining thing, nothing else. So, unko itna bhav mat do. don't give so much of importance to that also. Okay, cool. Let's get back to reality. Yeah, so this was about replace, guys. And I think we are done with all the string methods. Uh, yes, so any questions, guys? Any questions about string methods so far? Before we move on to quiz. Cool. So I, I hope you remember all the methods. Okay. What is the value of age? Okay. And is that 54, jo hai, is that 54, is it a number or is it a string? It's a string, very good. So this is what we call a string concatenation, right? Because we're concatenating two strings here. If it doesn't matter string ke andar kya hai, this plus symbol right here, it is special when it comes to string. It has two responsibilities. See, I, I mentioned this yesterday. Na? So when, when we have the plus symbol, which is this plus symbol that we have, okay, this can either behave for concatenating Or it can do a simple sum also. Or addition. Okay. Now, when it does each one of things depends on what kind of types that we're using it on. If one of the things is a string, if you have like let's say a plus one, okay, then we uh, what will happen in this case? Will addition happen? Will, how will this happen? What will happen in this case? Yeah, so we'll in this case, we'll concatenate. But if we have a 1 plus 2, in this case, what happens? This one. So just remember that if one of them is a string, one of them, not even both, then we always concatenate using the same plus operator. But this, this dual responsibility is not there for other, uh, other operators, like minus... Uh, division yeah modulo yeah multiplication okay none of these have two responsibilities all of them are used only for mathematical operations but the plus symbol here is special when it comes to this okay all right so let's get back to the quiz okay what does this return to us 
we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 very good we get the value of i because if you remember the indexing always starts from 0 we always start from 0 so like 0 1 2 3 4 and then 5 and 6 and 7 okay next question okay what about this what will this return to us Guys, you're getting confused. So I'm not using index of here. Index of use nahi kar raho. Index of returns to us minus one. Uh, this will return to us undefined. Okay. Remember, minus one is actually, I mean, utna nahi aata hai. Minus one is only for index of. Abhi ke liye remember that minus one jo hai, wo only index of ke liye hai. Which means when you supply the character and the character does not exist in the string, then you get back minus one. But in this case, if you're supplying it an index which does not exist within the string, we always get back undefined. Okay. What is the value of song after this method uh, was used on the song variable? It's again a tricky question, guys. Yeah, so Dinesh and Abhishek guys are wrong. You guys observe here, I told you that two uppercase will not modify the song variable. It will not modify it. It simply returns to you a string, a modified string. But are we storing this back in any variable right now? Are we storing it back in the song variable right now? No. So why will it get changed? So unless you store this result in the, in the song variable again, this will always remain the same now because two uppercase is a method which does not transform. It does not transform the original uh, original string. Remember that. Okay. All right. Okay. What is the value of clean input? <clears throat> I've spoken about this already today. So what is the answer? Does it have any spaces? The answer? Very good. So what happens in this case is first of all, this username dot input, I mean user input dot trim will first of all happen. Okay. This will simply remove this space that we have right here. And after this, uh, after the space is removed, then we perform a dot to lower case on top of it. Okay. And finally, because you're storing the result back inside this variable, this result will be stored inside this variable. It will not be lost. Okay. All right. So next is, what is the value of index? <clears throat> Guys, one more thing I forgot to mention is, see, let's say that we have a const username is equal to Aditya, like this. Now I can say username of index of Johe. See, this does not have to take a single character. It can take multiple characters also, like this. What happens when you give multiple characters is this, this string Johe, who are Jahapad bi shuru horai, right? Like in this case, Adi is starting from 0th index. Na? That will be the result here. Okay. <clears throat> For example, let's, uh, I'll give a word called as uncharted again, it's my favorite game on PS5. So, okay. Now when I say index of, of, uh, of char, let's say, 
what is happening is I'm checking for this this index of. So I'm supposed to go with whatever this is beginning from. Like ये जो index है, it is zero one two, and hence इसका answer will be two. Like this. Make sense, guys? Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'll repeat again. What I'm trying to say is, I'll remove all of this. Okay. Let's say that this is my string right now, and I want to get the index of this uh, this part, which means I want to do uncharted dot index of char. This is my question. So I'm asking. What is the index of this specific uh, this specific like, substring within the string? Okay. <clears throat> If you look at the indexes, right? This is zero, one, two. So basically, this substring is beginning from which string? It begins at which string? It begins at two. So that is the answer. Okay. Is it clear, Tanzila? All right, let's proceed. So, keeping this in mind, answer this question. It's a tricky question, guys. Observe it carefully and give me the answer. Himanshu, observe it carefully again. Yes, so the answer is minus one. Why is it minus one? Because we don't have a capital S stone. नहीं है हमारे पास. We have a small k stone. So this stone is not the same as this stone because it is uh, like this capital is different from small s. Okay, what is the value of index? Okay, let's see. So we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Is it eight? One zero, one two, three four, five six, and seven. Very good. So the answer is seven. Tanzila, I think you missed the space here. I mean, Tuskeen, sorry. It is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. ठीक है सो वॉट एवर द फर्स्ट अकरेंसेस दैट विल बी रिटर्न फर्स्ट अकरेंस रिमेम्बर दैट ओके हाँ तो वॉट विल दिस इवेल्युएट टू दिस वन इज अ नाइस क्वेश्चन बाय द वे दिस थिंग इज स्पेस दिस थिंग इज स्पेस राइट योर Richard, does your answer have a space there, or doesn't have any space? Okay. Yeah. So the answer is R space H, because first of all we are doing dot slice of two, uh, which means we begin from zero one two. Yeah. So we go with R base. So R base with the explanation, uh, with the explanation, uh, with the x, what the hell, uh, with the exclamation mark. Uh, will remain after this, and after this we'll do a dot replace. So we we'll replace like B with a space character, and hence it will be R space, of R space A. Now one more thing is, it is possible that we do something like this, like const uh, what uh, const message is equal to say page. ठीक है, so if you simply want to just remove the first character, ना, you can simply do message dot replace. I'll remove B with nothing. This is not space. See, this is space. I'm not giving any space here. What will happen in this case is 
it simply removes that character because it's simply saying that b ko replace it with nothing which means it's just like removing the letter that's it okay makes sense guys uh, is this point clear okay is do we have more questions in this if this thing is not required at the moment uh, we'll cover this part <clears throat> this thing i'll come back to it tomorrow like with my important easily but we'll talk a more important thing okay so uh, okay let's say that i basically want to okay <clears throat> i have two variables let's say one of them is const min h 21 and const your age is 19 i want to print out a message that says uh, you must be 21 years old to enter come back in this minus this ka age like i come back in whatever this is minus this to the years ke baad jo you have to come back so that to become 21 theek hai so the basically want to return uh, this string your age is what are the min ages which is 21 uh, come back in this minus this which is 2 years okay now if this i want uh, if i want these values to come dynamically what we can do is first of all <coughs> when do your age is give a space here and then say min age okay i just do yahan tak i get this string here okay this thing is what this thing is string concatenation na no? we simply concatenating because remember when you have a plus here and if there's at least one string we concatenate the whole thing so now i want to add on to it so i want to add a full stop here add a full stop and then i i'll add uh, please come back in do plus i'll do min uh, min age minus your age it should be in brackets though min age minus your age plus plus yours have to add one more space here and then i have to hit enter i'm oh, sorry and finally i get the correct string now see how difficult it is to actually include something dynamic within a string like this now imagine if you have a very big string which has multiple dynamic values like this it becomes a pain right to to keep doing this again and again it's not really easy to actually uh, work with something like this so there should be a better way and finally they introduced a much better way as part of es6 which means before 2015 you had to work with something like this but es6 ke baad they introduced a new uh, new feature called as template literals okay uh, this is one of those things which looks i mean which sounds very complicated but actually very simple to understand theek hai so basically <clears throat> these template literals they help you to embed expressions inside them theek okay? hai uh see i'll talk about expressions much more in detail later on but <coughs> sorry one second yeah but for now what you have to understand is an expression is anything which returns to you something okay <clears throat> like if you are asking a question it returns an answer for you like <clears throat> for example if you take a look at uh, 2 plus 4 okay a question you are asking here is what is 2 plus 4 and are you receiving an answer <clears throat> you receive an answer called as 6 this is the question asked and the answer you get back is 6 okay <clears throat> which means whenever you ask any question and if you get back an answer 
okay like uh, if any if any code that you write if it returns anything to you that's called an expression like you know, you ask a question it returns an answer to you that is what we call as an expression okay like one more expression is even uh, this so hello dot to upper case is this a uh, is this an expression it is an expression because when we do this thing it returns to you something right <clears throat> the question you're asking here is what is the upper case version of this string and it answers to you by giving back the upper case version which means this is also an expression okay but if you do something i mean if you look at this part here is this an expression does it give you back anything no right <clears throat> we are simply declaring a variable here and assigning a value there is nothing returning here there is no no question asked no answer given here but if you look at something like this i mean even this is also actually an expression right because it returns to you this new string this returns to you a value and this returns to you this thing and if you do again uh hello there dot <clears throat> let's say if i add some space if i do a trim this also is an expression because you're asking a question here what is the trimmed value of the string and answers to you by returning this value so all of these things like this this and this this all of these things are strings but these things are not <clears throat> i'm sorry these things are expressions and these things are not expression these things are simple statements that's it this okay this thing and this thing they are simply statements but these things are expressions because it's like you're asking a question and you're getting back an answer okay whenever uh, anything is returned to you that is called an expression okay we can embed such things okay if you ask here na i mean yahan par see uh, uh one more thing i'll show you <clears throat> let's say that i'll just to yeah i'm having this right so when i just give meaning like this is this an expression just just giving this variable name is this an expression it is an expression because the question asked here is what is the value inside minage ka variable the answer is 21 so when you give a variable like this it's returning to you something meaningful and that's why it's an expression that's why uh your age okay when you do something like this see this is an expression this is also an expression right now when you want to embed or insert any expressions within a string in a much better way we can use template literals let me show you how okay so i'll take the same thing and instead of writing that in double quotes i'll write those in back ticks okay this back tick look something like this uh, let me write it like this wait or let me show it to you yeah, so this is the back tick a symbol this <clears throat> i think you'll find it at the top uh, top left on your keyboard escape ke niche hoga dekho windows keyboard back tick hope you find it uh oh wait where is back tick in windows 10 i'm not sure ha i think himanshu ne jo diya na bhai ye windows mein to i don't know where exactly but yeah just give it a shot so this is back tick that you have theek hai <clears throat> now within the back ticks here first of all you can write any string that you want theek hai whatever string you add within double quotes or single quotes you can add the same string within back tick as well like i can basically say i am aditya okay or i can say he is he is superman whatever i'm not talking myself like ye mere bare mein nahi hai 
in the same so or uh, he likes hrx yeah this is about me and uh, <clears throat> what else he works worked at deloitte basically see <clears throat> uh whatever you basically want to add within a double quote or single quote you can add the same thing within back ticks as well then what is the point of back tick i mean if i in double quote single quote like what is the point of this there are two major advantages with this okay and the first advantage is like this uh see if you want to use a single quote within your string what do we do we actually use a double quote outside na like you say i are switch one second i say like i am aditya i mean okay because i want to use a single quote within my string i use double quotes outside right it says ha ha like this right but if you use double ticks na if you used to back ticks like this you can use whatever you want you can either use hey i am aditya he says ha ha like this so you can basically use a combination of single quote and double quote within your template returns that is the first big advantage that you have guys are you able to hear me right i, I saw like a, i saw some error here saying connection lost this okay cool 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 ha huh. so this is the first big advantage that we have which is where you can use a combination of sing, of uh, of single quote and double quote within the back tick theek hai to or you don't have to worry about uh, that thing anymore the second thing is let's get back to this again const minage const storage i do work with uh, with this okay now it now uh, <clears throat> embedding or inserting expressions within your strings becomes much more easier with template returns what we can do now is second let's simply say your h is so yahan par i want to insert whatever the min h ka value is what i can simply do is i'll add a dollar sign i'll add curly braces like this so within this curly braces here you can insert any expression you want whatever expression you want you can add it here see i'll add min h expression here and hit enter i get back this अभी इसका झंझट नहीं है ठीक है सो आई डोंट हैव टू यूज द प्लस नॉन ऑफ द टर्म एनी मोर आई कैन कंटिन्यू एडिंग दिस आई विल से प्लीज प्लीज कम बैक इन या अगेन विद इन माय कर्ली ब्रेसेस हियर आई विल ऐड द एक्सप्रेशन व्हिच इज मिन एज माइनस योर एज यस दैट्स इट now just observe how simple this is when compared to this this looks much more natural you don't have to worry about any spaces or any pluses all of those things you don't have to worry about any brackets and all it just makes it lot easier theek hai to when do you have to use like when will you use a back tick use a back tick in two situations okay when you want to use a combination of double quotes and single quote within a string uh use it in that case and second even more important use case is something like this where you want to embed uh, an expression within your within your string use it like this okay remember you can even do something like this also uh, upper case name is let's say let's say to upper case because see If you remember, oh shit! Wait, this should be. See, this also still works. Remember, 
this entire part right here this entire part is also an expression right because the question we are asking is what is the uppercase version of the string here oh but you're right i was uh, wrong about this yeah now it makes sense the point here is we can add any expression you want see we just adding a variable is an expression and subtracting like performing some operations is an expression and adding uh, using string methods is also an expression remember expression is anything which returns to you some value it's like you are asking a question you get back an answer and expressions are very important because you'll be using them a lot in react like react when you'll be using it all the time that's why i'm stressing on it okay so within within your template literals you can embed any expression you want be it a simple variable which returns the variable ka value or be it a simple mathematical operation like this which also returns some value or be it a string method which also returns a value this make sure that when you want to use any expression within literals just use a dollar sign and then give the curly braces like this so this is a mandatory thing don't forget this you have a dollar symbol and then opening curly braces and closing curly braces now within this thing within this thing here add any expression that you want this is the simple syntax okay and with this i am done for today's class uh you guys have any questions for me before i close the class okay okay all right guys i'll see you tomorrow then have a good night and take care <clears throat> bye bye guys